What is going on YouTube, Jim Bob 82 here, and today I'm going to try to help answer the question of why do we hydro test paintball tanks? Now, this is normally a question that a lot of new paintballers have or someone who isn't really familiar with uh, the way uh, high pressured air works or how CO2 works. And really to sum this question up into why do we hydro test is pretty much for safety reasons. Uh, it's almost the same way that you would get your car inspected. It's for the safety of yourself and of course for the safety of others. So that's why we always want to uh, hydro test these is because we want to keep them from having a failure that could uh, injure you or someone else. And this is normally always done and normally all fields mandate this because they don't want to have an accident and of course probably you don't want to have an accident i don't want i don't i don't want to have you know one of these things go off so you have to send them off to um a certified uh i guess a rehydro tester by uh the dot which is the department of transportation who certifies all these and most bottles especially co2 bottles like these right here are aluminum and really they have to be hydro tested every five years and that's actually a really really long time considering how much pressure these hold and the abuse that they go through. Now, you can tell which one, normally which tanks are kind of newer and which ones are older. The older ones are much more beat up, kind of like this one over here to your right, and the newer ones look actually really nice with uh, all the uh, regular labels and paint on it. So, you can normally tell which ones are sometimes older and which ones may pose a risk and to hydro test is just simply to make sure that your bottle conforms to standards still. So by beating them off a rock or off a tree, which probably isn't the best idea, that'll damage the tank and kind of hurt its life a little bit more and you'll need to have it rehydro tested sooner and it could fail hydro test. Now I know probably what you're thinking is why do I have two bottles out here? Well the one on the right here is out of hydro test which I said because it looks like it has been used quite quite frequently and the one on the right is much newer and actually that one is from uh 13 2013 is when this one's made so really you can look at them and you won't you know you probably think the one on the right probably won't pass hydro test and in reality the one on the right will pass hydro test i just have not gotten it hydro tested and the reason is because it's been taken well care of now it looks like it hasn't been, but really this is all just regular wear and tear of where the paint will come off. This will happen too because none of these uh, ever have been used with a cover on. And really the main thing with hydro testing is your bottle. It pretty much, if the outside of it is ding, dented, or cracked, it will explode and injure you, others, and your gun. So that's why hydro testing is important. Pretty much to hydro test, um, the certified uh, hydro test will pretty much take the regulator off the top of your bottle and after that they will put it inside of a container filled with water, fill your bottle with water and then record how much it expands. If it expands less than the uh, highest limit it'll pass. If it expands more it'll fail and almost all tanks will pass if they are in very good condition. Now the main thing that you do want to worry about is probably more your regulator because that is more likely to fail and blow your burst disc or just have a outright failure at your regulator. So overall, to answer the question of why do we hydro test and what is hydro testing, it is all for safety, safety of you, safety of others, and safety for your marker. So please, please, please get everything hydro tested when it goes out of date. CO2 tanks, air tanks, just make sure that they are all up to the minimum standards that are set forth to keep everyone safe. All right. Thank you for watching this. If you liked it, give me a like. If you didn't, give me a dislike. And as always, please subscribe.